Hello and welcome to this edition of ES 101's Visual Radio. For the news first team, I'm Chalini Ratnavira. First, let's take a look at your headlines. News first headline. Prime Minister holds first meeting with Chief of Defence Staff, Army Commander and Navy Commander. CEB proposes electricity tariff reduction plan. Israel accused of massacre in New Jabalia raid strikes hit Beirut. Phoebe Litchfield named Sydney Thunder captain. On to your top story, the Prime Minister Dr. Harini Amrasuria held a meeting yesterday with Chief of Defence Staff General Shavendra Silva, Commander of the Army Lieutenant General Vikum Lianage, and Commander of the Navy Vice Admiral Priyanta Pereira at the Prime Minister's office. This meeting marks the first formal discussion between the Prime Minister and the heads of Sri Lanka's Defence Forces following her recent appointment. To more local news, the Ceylon Electricity Board said it submitted a proposal to the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka to reduce electricity tariffs. According to the CEB, the proposal has been formulated based on the current pricing formula. The PUCSL will review the proposal and upon approval will announce the percentage reductions in electricity tariffs. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Power and Energy has stated that the President will appoint new members to fill the vacancies in the PUCSL. This marks the third time this year that the CEB has submitted a proposal to reduce electricity tariffs. International news. In international news, Gaza civil defense has warned of mass casualties after the Israeli military blew up a dozen residential buildings in northern Gaza's Jabalia refugee camp in an attack described as a major massacre. Israeli tanks shelled Gaza's besieged Kamal Adwan hospital as machine gun fire strafed the overwhelmed medical facility, severely damaging an intensive care unit. news The rapid progression of Phoebe Litchfield's career will continue after she was named Sydney Thunder captain for the upcoming WBBL season. At 21, Litchfield will be the youngest full-time captain in WBBL history. She has been appointed ahead of England captain Heather Knight, who led the side last season, but enters the WBBL on the back of the injury she sustained at the T20 World Cup and will also miss the latter stages of this year's competition due to a tour of South Africa. Well, that's a wrap of this edition of Yes 101 Special Radio. Thank you for watching.